Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. But which one? Up north is where the gas fella foreman used to live, tending to his flock. Gas fellas all dress alike. Kids wondering the same thing. And there it is. But it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. A blustery old foreman's keeping his fellas in check. Almost like he's showboating for the crowd. Now there's a new marshal in town. He heads for the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge. Somehow that old forge is still standing. Inside the forge, Key can fine-tune those instruments of his. Kid's lifelong friends looking fit to keep on fighting. With a good length of Mies gun, that bow's like new again. He heads for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. Kid ain't ever seen an elephant squirt before. Hopes he'll never see one again. They say even the most rambunctious squirts can be tamed. Come back and digest just about anything. Except for this. It's quick for slicing and light enough to throw. Them squirts just don't know when to quit. grown, but it's too tough to fall. Might as well check the other side streets before leaving this hole. He comes back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack, the monuments calling for it. The windbags used to be alright, then the calamity took the floor out from under him. Kid does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. A lot of things need fixing up in this world, and we can start right here. Picked up traces of other cores while the kid was out.
couples used to walk the sundown path. The kid ain't here for pleasure, though. But then... Somebody gets to the core before the kid. The floor starts giving way under the lightest step. A single panic squirt could bring the whole place down. Fragments of the old world rain from the sky. Stray valuables are lying everywhere. Security's all fired up. The calamity changed everything, even where the wind blows. Of the winds in the old days, we can do it again. Who else could have taken the core? live munitions down the path. Find time to find them. He's wise to toss those things plenty far away. Gas fellas need some shut eye from time to time. They get real cranky when you wake them up. could have survived the calamity.
So he didn't find the core that time, but that ain't about to stop us. Sometimes a single look says it all. In better days, the melting pot was sealed tighter than the skin on a squirt. Of all the plans to survive the calamity, it had to be stab weeds. Blasted things hurt like a broken heart. If there's a core, he figures it ought to be deeper down. Core stuck inside one of those fancy cages. No break in a cage like that, but the kid tries anyway. They gotta find a way to spring it open. Some of the stuff lying around is downright dangerous. He throws a switch. Now what could possibly go wrong? Quite a bit, as it turns out. The cage starts lifting from the core ever so slow. All Kid can do is wait. Shipments start falling in. Not every squirt's born bad. Some spring to the Kid's defense. Judging by the movement of the cage, it's gonna take a little while. Scumbags don't take kindly to interlopers. Even some gas fellas take his corner. Birdie pop that mean old foreman. At this rate, maybe five more minutes, maybe thirty. Hard to tell. Squirts get real territorial around the core. Then a ship and a free sample shows up. Thanks for sure, that cage is awful heavy. It's a troublesome scene to be sure.
seconds left, and the core goes free. Ten, nine, eight, seven. We give or take a few seconds. Finally, the core's within reach. And done. I still remember the look on his face after that one. <laughs> Folks voyaged across the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. <laughs> the old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. Bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. Ain't much kid can handle with hammer and bow in hand. The dead welcome him with open arms. The calamity took everybody after all. Kid sees it plain, frozen faces all around. You don't much care to see him. Not like this. These folks never saw the calamity coming, but someone did. Someone close. There was someone like him. Kid sees him there agape in the flesh. It's a snag or two trying to get to him. to stop, no matter what. He's got so many questions, after all. Just ain't got time for answers. The Tunder brothers didn't make it. They never saw what it was like beyond the walls. Nor did the bird boy didn't make it. The Jawsons, they didn't make it. Grady Senior, Grady Junior, they didn't make it. But him, he survived. Kid finds proof enough that man ain't from around here. Just think, without that man, we wouldn't be here right now, would we? The core survives as well. Kid does what he has to do. What do you say to a man who's seen too much? Kid hasn't a clue, but he says this. We have to go. Please.
He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No hiding he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other for the first time. We fought the Ura decades ago, but that was then. Things are different between us now. For Zolf, Ceylandia was like a second home. He's real worried about his first home, too. Far to the east. We all lost loved ones in the calamity, he says. I don't know how I'm gonna go on without mine. He was born in the Tazzle Terminals. The Ura sent him on a mission of peace to our city, and he's lived here ever since. The cores, they remember. That's why this place is coming together. That's why things are gonna be all right. Well, look what we have here. The lost and found. Here, kid takes fragments of the old world and makes them whole again. All it takes is some fragments and the bastion makes it good as new. Ain't never letting go of his old friend with a sturdy grip like that. <laughs> 